It's been one year since Colorado State Patrol Trooper Cody Donahue was hit and killed along I-25 in Douglas County. It was November 25th, 2016, when Donahue was outside his patrol vehicle investigating this crash right there south of Castle Rock. Noah Gomez Ruiz has pleaded guilty to criminally negligent homicide. Court documents show that Gomez Ruiz did not move into the next lane away from where the trooper was standing. By the way, he'll be back in court in April. And continuing our coverage of Trooper Donahue's death, the accident, it sparked legislation at the state capitol, making penalties tougher for violators of Colorado's move over law. And we're learning tonight that a growing number of Colorado drivers failing to abide by that law. News 5's Mark Boyle live near I-25 right now. And Mark, you saw a few of these drivers for yourself. That's right, a couple of them during our 30 minute ride along on the interstates and roadways with State Patrol today. They say every day they see dozens who simply don't want to give them any space. We got Santa Fe and Charter Oak Ranch with a white Ford Explorer. It's the biggest danger for law enforcement officers working on the side of the highway. It's also the biggest cause of fatalities among officers. It's an unfortunate risk of this job. More officers are killed by uh, passing motorists who fail to yield right away to us than almost anything, than almost anything else, correct, with uh, uh, shootings, etc. By law in Colorado, when officers have their lights on and are stopped on the road, you must move over for them, but not all do, leaving troopers with harrowing stories shaking their heads at close calls. A road closure and I've been brushed by, by a, a motorist. Fortunately, they're going slow enough, but their side view mirror it hits my right arm and it's like, really? How do you not see us standing here? And we witnessed it again today. Take a look at this semi truck driving 75 miles an hour, just feet of where we were parked. That's why more and more, much of the contact law enforcement makes with drivers is increasingly on the passenger side of the vehicle. State Patrol says over 2,200 tickets were written this year for those failing to move over. That's more than 2015 and 2016 combined. State Patrol says nearly 75 of those were written in El Paso County, which is up year over year from those previous. Troopers urge drivers to give law enforcement a little bit of space out there. It could save a life. And more tickets are being written right now. They're about $170 since Cody Donahue's death. Now legislation has stiffened those penalties. If you're reckless driving around an officer pulled over, you could face $5,000 in fines and some jail time. Watching out for you in Colorado Springs, Mark Boyle, News 5.